Hi, good morning guys. It's Miss Donna and this month for Sensory Play, we are doing Touch Time. And boy, do I have some fun things that you can try at home. First, I want to show you some simple things that you already have at home that you can use that you may not have thought of. For starters, we know how much the kids enjoy bubble wrap. Well, I'm sure most of you get packages all the time in these little envelopes. If you simply cut them open and save them, they're bubble wrap and they can pop them with their fingers. For the littler ones, they can crawl on them, they can touch them. You can do all kinds of different things with the lovely bubble wrap. And this way you're not going out and buying it. This is something that most of us either recycle or something like that anyway. So why not recycle them for our kids? Next, this is something that you may have at home or you might have to pick up. Velcro rollers. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I remember using these and they were awful. But they are so much fun for kids. If you happen to have a felt board, you can use them with the felt board and they will build and they will stack and you can do all kinds of things. They will also stick to your carpet. They will stick to each other and you can make towers and shapes and all kinds of things that they can do. Um, these I bought at Five Below. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them just about any place and they only cost a couple of bucks if you don't have any left over in your closet like I did. So that's another thing that's really easy to do. Next, I'm gonna show you something that if you came to Sensory Play before all of this quarantine happened, you experienced the boxes. All right. They're simple. You take a box. I used Kleenex boxes because they have an automatic open. Get you some duct tape. Um, I recommend duct taping them because it strengthens the box and it will make it sturdier because they're going to be pulling their hands in and out and in and out. And as you notice, my boxes are starting to get a little mangled here. But all you need to do is put some nice color on it. There you go. Scarves. La -da -da, la -da -da. Look at this. These are even tied too nicely together like a magician. Um, any pieces of scraps of material, silk scarves, whatever you might happen to have, you can put in these boxes. You could put socks in these boxes. You could put um, any, anything that they can pull out and be surprised as to what all they might find. And believe me, you would be surprised if you do this one, how much stuff is actually in. <laughs> I'm still pulling stuff out. Look at this in the box. And these are just scarves that we had in our supply. I'll bet you you have some around the house. Uh, gloves, mittens, anything like that would be something that they would be feeling and touching and pulling in and out of the box. Another way that we used materials is if you have a tub or a bowl, um, you can put them in and then they can try them more for like dress up, you know. They, um, they might want to wear some lace instead of just pulling it in and out of the boxes. They might want to look really fancy. So that's another touch feel. Um, this is lace, net, material. Ah, I like this. How many of you have this in your cabinets? These are awesome because they have a really cool texture to them. Kids love them. Plus, if you put them on the ground, things will stick to them. This is just a little leather scrap. Another feel that they don't often get very much anymore unless you have leather seats in your car. Now, the last way that you can also do these is something that I have started. I have just a piece of, it's just a plain piece of cardboard. You can make it out of an empty box. These are the little lids of wipes, whether they're baby wipes or face wipes or whatever, they're just the little plastic lids. And what I did was I cut material and put inside. And you can use any of these scraps of material because then they're going to be touching and feeling and they're not gonna know what's under the scarf. You can also, you can coordinate colors maybe. Maybe you can make it a matching game. Can you find the other fur? Um, depending upon the size of your box, you could have as many of these as you want. But it's another way for them to discover new textures, new touches, and new ways of finding them. 
So you can use lids and boxes, you can use Kleenex boxes, you can use boards, bags, it doesn't matter. I'm sure you have all kinds of things around your house that would give them a chance to touch and feel, play, and discover their world around them. So until next month, it's Miss Donna saying bye.